from you guys but how, how do you actually know like which study habits work for you which study habits you should be applying like you know what you should be doing how you can improve in your studying like all these questions how, how do you actually know and I think it's it's a valid question uh, or these are all valid questions and of course it's important for you to from the onset sort of apply the right study habits and essentially study in the most correct way of course depending on your module depending on which degree you're studying as well and yeah because obviously if you don't then you're not necessarily going to get you know the best results for yourself so in this in this sort of um, episode in this in this video here i'm going to expand and really just break down for you guys how you can actually answer these questions for yourselves how you can get the right study habits get the right um study techniques as well and you know get it from the beginning so that of course you can actually proceed and you know inevitably sort of pass the uh, pass the semester and eventually pass the degree so i think first up it's important for you to know that there is no blanket answer and when i say this i mean there is not one answer i can give to every single student in the world in saying that this is how you should study this is the study techniques you should be applying these are your study habits you need this is exactly what you need as a person i cannot do that for everyone because it's important to understand that we're all different and i know this is this is probably not what you want to hear but at the end of the day this is literally the truth but we are all different as people as students we are all different so therefore we internalize information differently you know how i deeply internalize information and remember things is probably not the same as how uh you do it best so I think first point of call, first point of action here is for you to just sit back and understand yourself. That's your first starting point to this whole process is you just have to take some time to deeply understand yourself, understand what works, understand what doesn't work for you and understand, you know, based off obviously prior experience, uh, what hasn't worked and what has worked. This is so important. And I'd even say guys, take the step and write it down. Write it down on a piece of paper, on your laptop, wherever, but just get it down somewhere. This is so important because you need to essentially create a roadmap for yourself, for yourself in this journey in terms of, first of all, understanding who you are, how you operate, and then from there, building the right study techniques the right study habits so i definitely say guys just go through this process a lot of people don't do this because they feel it's a waste of time or nah you know i'd rather be studying and stuff but you want to get the best out of yourself in this semester you want to get the best out of yourself in this quarter you want to achieve the best possible result i know that so this is your first step you have to get this done um, for yourself of course and this is something that I did as well, honestly, and I still do to this day because self-introspection is the most important thing. Self-introspection, of course, it's constantly looking inside yourself and better understanding yourself. It's super, super important for, I'd say, anything in life, but more importantly, you know, studying and getting the right results. So start off with this and then I'd say, you know, next up, get a bit of advice get a bit of advice you don't have to make the same mistakes other people have made in the past and the best way to bypass this is literally getting advice you know getting to hear from what other students have done you know students before you who perhaps completed the modules or even completed the degree itself you know just getting that insight into seeing what worked for them especially module specific for the specific modules that you take or for the specific subjects that you're taking. It's important to sort of have this insight and see what has worked for others, what hasn't worked for others, and have this help you build your study habits and your study techniques as well. I think this is so pivotal. But just take that step, guys, and really understand 
um, what other people have done right, what they haven't done right. And of course, if you don't have direct access to, to students who've passed the modules or passed the degree as well, your next best thing, which is not a bad alternative as well, it's a really good one, is your lecturers. Your lecturers have sat there for years and years and watched people pass and other people fail. You know, I think your lecturers have seen everything, guys. They've seen everything, uh, what, you know, the modules uh, have done to the people, the pass rates, why people have failed. They see all these mistakes on a yearly basis. Uh, and your lecturers have a lot of experience. So don't take this for granted. Because a lot, of, a big mistake a lot of students make is they see lectures as their enemy. They see lectures as these people who are just trying to make them fail and repeat the whole time. And, you know, they're not there for their interests. That, that's the wrong approach, I must say. Because at the end of the day, your lecturers are there to see you succeed. You know, and there's a lot that you can leverage of their knowledge, of their understanding, of both the module, the, the contents of the, you know, the module or the subject, as well as just how other people have experienced it for themselves. So I'd suggest just having that conversation and understanding, you know, what they've seen as being a pattern of why people have, you know, perhaps failed, why people have passed, and, you know, how to improve your chances of passing as well. You know, and this helps you build your study habits, build your study techniques, and just helps you better understand what things you can employ for your success. So yeah, definitely go on this journey, understand what other people have gone through. And I think the next important thing, very important to understand, is that it's a trial and error game. So you're not gonna get the right study habits first shot like boom, here it is. This is the perfect study, you know, habit. This is the perfect way to go about things. Here's the perfect technique. This is exactly what you need to do. <laughs> it's not gonna work like that. Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, that's not how things work. Uh, I think a lot of things in this world, including study habits, study techniques, uh, don't just come to you, but you need to put a lot of input in and it's trial and error. So it's you, you know, just perhaps getting the ones that you think will work best for you, trying them out for a prolonged period of time, and then going back and assessing. And when I say prolonged period of time, give it some time. You know, don't just do it for a week, two weeks. Give it a month, you know, give it a month, give it a month and a half, however long. See if it's working, then go back, reassess. Is this actually working for me? Is it working? Why is it not working? And then you can pivot. You can then go and try something else. You can maybe improve on it a little bit. You can slightly adjust it. Um, and I'll give an example of myself. Um, for example, I always thought that, you know, studying at night is the best for me. Uh, I know that if I study in, at night all the way until 1 a.m., I'm most productive, I'm really good. So that's what I thought was good for me. Then I tried it out. I tried it out, but I saw very quickly after two weeks that actually no, I get very tired during the day and there's lectures and I'm not actually really as productive at night because I'm usually tired because during the day there's so much that goes on. So I, I switched it. I was like, no, let me actually start, you know, my days a bit earlier. Let me try and be a bit more of a morning person. I know waking up in the morning is not the best, but I found that the earlier I woke up and started, the more productive I actually was throughout the whole day. So do that for yourself, guys. You know, go on, you know, just a consistent journey of learning about yourself, about things that work for you, trialing and erroring different study habits, and then just joining all the things that work, joining them together and making a sort of conducive combo of what works. I think this is the best approach. This is the best way that you can find the study habits that work for you, the study techniques that work for you. And I think long term as well, it's going to help you out. Because even now, you know, post university, some things that I learned about myself in varsity, some things in terms of study habits, in terms of um, when I'm most productive, those things I apply to this day, guys. So it's not knowledge that goes to waste, but it's something that stays with you, something that you're always going to use in your life and something that I think is fundamentally important to who you are and who you're going to be as well. So definitely, guys, just take time and apply all these things. Um, please, please, please 
because and i always repeat this message and the sentiment that you know i say often but if you don't apply these things they're not going to help you you know me just sitting here chatting about it telling you about hey try this do this um, you should focus on this don't do this don't do that me doing all that stuff it's not going to do a thing for you if you yourself don't go and just be like okay cool let me apply this let me do this let me try that um, and do it of course in a way that works for you because at the end of the day it's just about developing systems that work for you uh, systems that are conducive for you there is no one fit solution to every single student if there's someone out there telling you that this will work for every single student and this is how every single student should study they're lying to you i promise you they're lying to you guys so you have to really just find what works for you go on that journey and apply 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 don't just sit and listen to me but apply 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 even the things i share in the whatsapp community don't just sit and read but apply 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 as early as possible and as frequently as possible uh, and yeah guys this will get you results because at the end of the day i'm here for you guys i'm here for your performance i'm here for your growth i'm here to get you guys to the next level and of course get you guys the results that you guys want so it's been another episode it's been another episode um i, I absolutely love making these uh, please guys do let me know if there's content specifically that you want me to chat on you want me to speak on maybe delve a bit deeper in and focus on certain things let me know guys let me know i'm here for you guys i'm here for your benefit i'm here you know for your sake so yeah it's been me it's been me as always i uh, hope you've enjoyed this one please if you have you know just drop me a like down there so that i know that you guys are enjoying this content and if you haven't subscribed guys our follow our following is growing slowly but surely you know great things take time and i'm so grateful to see that so many people have already subscribed but if you haven't please 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 drop me a subscription and of course guys until the next one let's continue on our journey in creating a better world